Hello everybody, I'm Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions and in today's top tip video I'm going to show you how to verify your domain in MailChimp. So why would you want to do this? Well by verifying your domain you're going to improve your deliverability rates because MailChimp will send the emails as though they have come from where your email originates from, so whoever your hosting company is. Now a little word of caution before we go into MailChimp and look at how to do this. I can only show you so far through the process because part of this does involve changing some settings with your domain company and it will vary depending on who you have your domain with, how you do that. So have a look at the steps that I go through in this video and if you do have any problems, please feel free to get in touch and I can help you with that. So here we are in MailChimp. So the first place we need to go is up to this little arrow at the top and click on account and this is where we go to verify our domains. We go into settings and domains. Now as you can see my main business name, domain is already authenticated here but I have added in another domain that I own just so I can show you through the process. When you first click to verify a domain you will need to enter an email address connected to that domain and you will be sent a verification email which I have now had come through for this domain. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter code and I'm copying and pasting the code from the email that I received. I'm now going to hit verify. Now at this point you'll see that the domain is verified but not yet authenticated and it's the authentication that will help to improve your delivery rates. So you then need to click on authenticate. And what MailChimp then asks you to do is to modify your domain's DNS records. Now that does sound a little bit scary, but it is actually quite straightforward. And as I said, depends on the hosting company that you use. What you'll need to do is contact the company and ask them how you change your DNS records if you do not know how to do that. And then send them these codes that MailChimp has provided here for you. And it really is a case of copying and pasting these into your DNS settings. Once you've done that, you need to wait 24 hours and then come back into MailChimp and ask it to authenticate the domain. As I said, if you get stuck with this or you're confused by it at all, please do drop a comment on this video. Get in touch with me directly because we'd be more than happy to help you with the process. Thank you for watching this top tip video. As I said, please do get in touch if you've got any questions. Check out my YouTube channel for other MailChimp hints and tips and I look forward to seeing you on another video again soon.